Hey guys, it's Rob, and just uh, the part I forgot in my first video on these receivers was to show you the uh, the brownout recovery, and uh, just reminding you that the one on the left is uh, bound in DSM2 mode, the one on the right is in DSMX, and you can see that's uh, flashing its little light that way. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just disconnect the power and reconnect, and we'll have a look at how quickly it recovers from a brownout. So disconnecting and reconnecting. You'll see that it came on straight away, and because it's in DSM2 mode, it's showing you that there was a brownout by the orange flashing light. So let me show you that again. Now what happens sometimes, I've noticed, is that when it has a brownout, it takes a lot longer to recover. You see how long that's taking now? There it goes. So that took many, many seconds. That's really um, a lot longer than it's acceptable, I think. But... Um, it seems to be a bit of a, a random event whether it recovers straight away or whether it takes a bit longer. I guess it probably depends on how long the power was out, but you'll see the two variations there. Taking many seconds to come back on. Okay, let's just try it one more time. I'll do it very quickly. Out in. Okay, that reconnected fairly quickly. And again, you've got the brownout detection, but if the brownout happens for any number of seconds, it looks like you lose the brownout detection. So the lights stop flashing. That's really unusual. That's not how my genuine spectrum receivers perform. Anyway, uh, let me show you on the DSMX bound receiver. Very similar kind of operation. Plug it back in. Takes a few seconds. And it's back on. Now I thought that came on a fair bit faster. But we'll try it again. Yeah, that time it looks like it's taking longer. Doesn't want to connect at all. There you go. Okay, let me try that again. I may not have uh, connected that plug properly that time. Okay, the other thing you'll notice with uh, DSMX, and I've made other videos on this subject, is that even, even if you get a quick uh, brownout, in DSMX you will not get the flashing orange light that you do on a, a normal spectrum receiver in DSM2 mode. But again, this orange one is a bit hit and miss whether you actually get that or not. There you go, you got it that time. So you can see there's a little bit of inconsistency in uh, the brownout display. Um, and the reboot time is really long. Uh, I know a lot of the genuine Spectrum receivers, they will reboot much faster than that now. Um, I know the older versions used to take a while, many seconds. Uh, but the newer genuine Spectrum receivers, they'll reboot much, much faster. Anyway, thanks for watching.